The first question on the WhatsApp is from Fidos Sheikh, a marketing executive from New York, USA. Is it permissible to wish our Christian friends Merry Christmas? A similar question is posed by Khatija Suleiman. She is a university student from London, UK. Can we accept food or gifts from our Christian friends on the occasion of Christmas? A similar question is posed by Sultan Khan from Toronto, Canada. Even though we know celebrating Christmas is wrong, can we politely wish our Christian friends compliments of the season or happy days? In our heart, we disagree with them, but to maintain the friendship, can we say good words to them? The basic question asked is that can a Muslim wish their Christian friends Merry Christmas? Or can they exchange food and gifts on the occasion of Christmas? Or, knowing it is wrong, can we politely say some kind words? Or can we say happy season or compliments of the season? Is it permissible? As far as wishing non-Muslims on the festivals, most of the non-Muslim festivals, they involve either shirk or they involve things which are not permitted in our Sharia. So most of the festivals, since they involve shirk or things which are prohibited in our Sharia, but national wishing them on things which is wrong is prohibited in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Glorious Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 2, that help one another in bir and taqwa, in virtue, in righteousness and good deeds, we should help each other. And the verse continues, but do not help one another in sin and transgression. So we cannot help one another, whether it be Muslims or non-Muslims, in things which are prohibited, in things which are sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further says in the Quran, Quran, in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 72, that those who do not witness things which are false or do not witness falsehood. So here Allah says in the Quran that the two believers, the moment they do not witness falsehood. So when we wish a non-Muslim in the festivals, which is against the Sharia, but natural, we are agreeing to things which are wrong and we are saying that what they're doing is right. It is like we know very well that most of the festivals involve shirk and especially Christmas. So when we wish someone Merry Christmas, what are we saying is that we are congratulating them for the festival of Christmas. And Christmas is a festival which the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, who they consider to be God or the Son of God, was born on the 25th of December and they celebrate Christmas as the birthday of their God. Now, when we wish them Merry Christmas, what are we doing? We are actually congratulating them on the shirk and giving shahada and bearing witness, nausbillah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was born on the 25th of December. So we are actually taking part in the shirk. And Allah clearly mentions in the glorious Quran, in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 72, that they do not witness falsehood. Allah says in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse number 2, that do not help one another in sin and transgression. So when we wish them Merry Christmas, we are giving shahada, we are bearing witness that knows Billah, Allah begot a son on the 25th of December, or knows Billah, Allah was born on the 25th of December. Both of these things are absolutely against the teaching of Islam. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maryam, chapter number 19, Verse number 88 to 92. And they say, Allah most gracious has begotten a son. Indeed, they have put forth a thing most monstrous. That anyone who says that Allah has begotten a son, it is the biggest abuse you can give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As though the skies are ready to burst open. The earth to split asunder and the mountains to fall down to utter ruin. If anyone says that Allah has begotten a son, if the sky had feelings, it would have burst open. The mountains will have fallen down to utter ruin. And imagine we Muslims who claim to be 
believing in one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believing in Tawheed, against Shirk. If we wish them Merry Christmas, we are giving Shahada that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begotten a son on the 25th of December. It is the biggest sin. That is the reason all, almost all the classical scholars, the medieval scholars, they said it is haram. According to Sheikh al-Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, he says that wishing the non-Muslims on the festival is prohibited. Even exchanging food or wearing their clothes or bathing or using firework on the festivals of the non-Muslims, it is prohibited. We cannot even take part in the celebrations. We cannot even wish them on the days. And Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is very clear that all these things are haram and it is prohibited in Islam. According to Ibn Qayyum, may Allah have mercy on him, he says that wishing the non-Muslims on the festivals, most of which involve shirk and things which are haram, is totally prohibited in Islam. It is like wishing them, for example, someone does adultery and you are saying, good you have done adultery, someone is drinking alcohol and you are saying, good you have drunk alcohol, these are all sins. So when you wish them in the festival, you are agreeing with them that what they are doing is right and it is totally prohibited. So almost all the scholars that you find, the classical and the medieval scholars, they say it is prohibited. Today you may find some scholars who may say it is permissible because there is no text in the Quran which prohibits greeting them or exchanging gifts etc. But this is only in small number and they are not following the classical scholars. So according to me, I do agree with Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Al-Qayyum and most of the majority of the scholars that wishing non-Muslim during the festival is prohibited. And if you read that almost all the classical scholars have prohibited. So according to me, wishing the Christians Merry Christmas is prohibited. Even saying to them good words because you want to be polite to them or saying compliment of the season or saying have a happy day. Wishing good things for the non-Muslims, worldly things, it is permitted. There is no problem at all. But specifically, picking on the days of the festival and wishing them on this festival, this is not permitted. Because you are going out of the way to wish them on the festival, that means you are encouraging the festival and you are agreeing with the festival which is prohibited. Otherwise, wishing good things for the non-Muslims, good health, may they have wealth, it's all permitted normally. But specifically wishing them on the festival is actually encouraging them and according to me and according to majority of the scholars, this is prohibited. Taking part in the celebration or exchanging gifts or wearing good clothes is prohibited. I would go a step further and say that we have many of the Muslims who are businessmen who try and do more business during the festivals of the non-Muslims and they have a Christmas sale, then they have a Diwali sale, thinking they'll do more business. According to me, even this is prohibited. The moment it's a Christmas sale, that means you're agreeing with Christmas. That means you're agreeing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows Billah, begotten a son on the 25th of December. You're agreeing that Allah was born on 25th of December, knows Billah. So for a Muslim, to wish the non-Muslims on the festival or to take part in the festival or exchange gifts or even try and do more business taking advantage of the festival and saying we are having a Christmas sale, it is not permitted and it is not correct according to the Sharia. There may be certain non-Muslims who may not understand and who may feel offended. and. I give the reply that in our festivals, we don't force any of the non-Muslims that they should follow our festival. Imagine if a Hindu who is a vegetarian, I would not expect him to come and wish me during Bakri Eid or Eidul Adha to wish me happy Eid because he doesn't believe in eating goat, eating meat, eating beef. So I would not be offended if he does not come and wish me happy Yudul Adha. Imagine if I tell all the Hindus, even though you are a vegetarian, which many are, you should come and wish me on Yudul Adha, they will be offended. 
how can they wish me on Eid al-Adha and we know that in Eid al-Adha we sacrifice a goat or we sacrifice a cow and this they think is wrong. So I respect their views. So similarly, a non-Muslim should respect my views. I expect the Christian to respect my views. Now the question comes that if a Christian comes and wishes you, you cannot reply, suppose he says Merry Christmas, you cannot reply Merry Christmas or same to you, this is also prohibited. What you can do is best is to keep silent. The best is if you know comparative religion, if you have seen my lectures, replying with hikmah is the best, but if you don't know any reply, the best is to keep silent. Or you can say that may peace be on you, or you can wish them may Allah give you hidayah. That is the best. Wishing hidayah for the non-Muslim is the best dua you can do to them. But if a non-Muslim comes and wishes me Merry Christmas, I will ask him that why are you celebrating this Christmas? So he will tell me that Christmas is the birthday of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So I will ask him, does the Bible say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December? And the answer is no. Nowhere does the Bible say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December. This 25th of December is the birthday of the pagan gods. Previously, the pagan gods, before the birth of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Greek philosophy and in many other mythologies, they believed this was the birthday of their god. Some believed it was the birthday of sun god. And in different mythologies, in different philosophies, this was a common date, 25th of December. So the Christians, to make it easily acceptable by the people of that time, they started saying that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 24th of December. In fact, if you read the Bible, it says that Mary, may Allah have mercy on her, who was the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when she was pregnant and she was asked to shake the tree, dates fell. And we know that dates don't appear during winter. So from this we come to know that when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born, it was not winter, it was summer. So for sure, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not born in December, neither on 25th of December. So when a Christian asks me, I will start doing dawah to him. And I will say, who is the Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? He will try to tell me that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is Almighty God. So I will tell him that, can you point out a single unequivocal statement from your Bible, anywhere from your Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that he is God or where he says worship me. And if you know your dawah very well, you can continue and you can prove. So during these occasions, if you are well versed with comparative religion, you can take this opportunity for calling them towards Islam. In no way can you agree with what they are doing is right. Allah clearly says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 110, the verse I started this session with. Allah says, Kuntum khaira ummatin nas. Oi Muslims, ye are the best of people evolved for mankind. The reason Allah calls us the khaira ummah, the best of people is, because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in Allah. We are called the Khaira Ummah, the best of people, because we are supposed to enjoin what is good and forbid what is wrong. So here we have to call them to the truth of Tawheed and forbid them from doing wrong. You cannot enjoin what is wrong. You cannot wish them on the festivals which is again the teaching of Islam. What you have to do is call them to Tawheed and to Dawah to them. And you can surely watch my video cassettes on similarity with Islam and Christianity, on was Jewish Christ, peace be upon him, crucified, is Jesus God, and various cassettes which will give you information on how you can convey the message of Islam to the Christians during this festival of death. Hope that answers the question.